Um, maybe, maybe it's just me. Um, and I, I am not a theater kid, okay? Like if anything, I'm the person who does dance. And even when I did dance, I was very, I'm a technical dancer. So I always got called out for like not having any facial emotions and stuff because like when I was younger, I just had like quite a lot of anger and uh, like stoicism basically. Like I just didn't show any emotion on my face at all. And I didn't really talk about my emotions with like, I was just like not emotionally intelligent. That's the point there. And I definitely, as a child, should have been in therapy. So if anyone else is like younger watching this and you're like, I don't know, I need therapy. I encourage you to just get some. Just spend a year in therapy so that you can just, it's not really a, like sometimes you feel like you're in a good place because nothing bad is happening. But what you don't actually realize is that you're, you might be like really far from your own emotional maturity and like what you are actually experiencing because there might be other people telling you, you should feel sad about this. You should feel angry about this. You should do this. You, like Everyone else has all these opinions which don't have anything to do with you. So, okay, so to come back for a second, um, let's talk about skits and the, the reason why people are making these skits. Um, so I went, uh, if you watched the last video, this is kind of a continuation of that. I just want to make sure I'm still sticking to my time. Yeah, I'm good. Um, the purpose of this skit is to kind of tell a story uh, from the perspective of like, it could be just you, but it could also be like you acting out, okay, something happens. Here's how I felt about it happening. Here's how this other person felt about it happening. Here's how this other person felt about it happening. This is like the whole point of like film. It's like you have some uh, event, right? And there are people there. And like the people are talking about the event. And they're all reacting to each other, to the place, to the story, in all of these ways. And skits enable you to like act that out. Now, for me, and I feel like actually to all of my, the girls, right, who are making the commentary videos, the whole point of this is, like, we're all just talking about, like, shit that we saw, shit that we experienced, uh, things that we heard about, and we're, like, reacting to that, and it's, like, changing us. <laughs> Sorry. Ooh. That's something that I didn't realize, like, uh how necessary that was and I feel like for me when I found Kenya's commentary channel I was like oh my god she has so many opinions about so many things like she was talking about books about tv shows about movies about pop culture songs current events artists like all this shit and I was like oh my god that's me too I like media too like I like consuming media and we just didn't at that point in time we didn't, well, maybe maybe you guys have been hip to it the entire time, but I personally hadn't. Like, I did not have a whole bunch of black commentary channels who were talking about shit that I cared about. And now that I found them, this is why I keep publishing those lists because I want other people, I don't want people to be lost like I was lost. I literally felt like a fucking like blind puppy or something. Who was just like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm like the only, the only black woman in the whole world who does shit go out and drink the coffee or whatever take a walk this is why i had i made those videos of me just like literally doing kind of nothing right i was doing nothing i was just like walking on an elevator like just fucking nothing like the whole video is me doing nothing which is kind of like what the kelly stamps channel is about it's like her basically doing nothing <laughs> and everybody's like i'm just happy you just exist like that's i feel like that's what we all feel about like kelly maybe not everybody that's how I feel. I watch Kelly Sam's content and I'm like, thank God she's just like out here just doing shit. It's not even like some miraculous stuff, all right? She's like walking, cooking, talking. <laughs> Isn't this what we all do? Also, um, Okay, I think that this is important. So, I don't know if anyone else saw, anyone here, watch the last Abra and Priest video that was about preferences. I'm not going to get into that. Maybe I'll make another video about that. But the thing I do think is interesting, 
they made a video where ABBA was basically like, I will not date a trans person. His video gets banned from TikTok. Other people on TikTok then um, remix his video. So the same video from his account. That, like, So first they took his video down, then they banned his account. Okay, then a whole bunch of other creators, this is like hundreds of creators at this point, posted, they remix his video, so they make new videos with the video that was banned in it. <laughs> and then they agree with exactly what he's saying and they repeat what he's saying and no one gets banned. Oh my God, this is a prime example of censorship and specifically like the reason I feel like so many, man, just like black people in general feel like so afraid to like have this opinion, to do this thing because it's like so many things have been like de-platformed, they've been demonetized. It's unpopular to feel this way. You're spreading hate. It's like, no, <laughs> it is okay to have whatever opinion that you have, even if the other people don't like it. Cause like, also let's be real here. Most of the people, we don't agree about like anything. Like everybody is sitting on opposite sides of all the shit. If they agreed, then what do you think people would be like friends with other people? They'd be like going places with other people. The world would be in a, a much better place, but no. We literally all hate each other so much that we don't talk, we don't live near each other, we don't go out with each other, we have like blocked people, deleted people. I know I do that, like I said. I have whole strategies of like how to like not be around people who I don't like. Like, oh, I know you're going there, I know you live in the city, perfect. I am moving out, I am going away. If you're gonna be there, I'm not gonna be there. That is exactly how I feel. And I, I literally will just structure my entire life to make sure that you are not in it. Like, it's almost like literally you're dead to me. Like you don't exist. You are not a part of the narrative. There's not like some shared story. There's not some like, oh, we had this like bad experience and now we just have to like move forward. There's no moving forward. No, then like maybe that's just me and I'm like very extreme, but I honestly feel like that. There's, I honestly, honestly feel like that. Like to, for me, if the bridge is burned, it's never being rebuilt. Like every, I literally, I think I had like 10,000 or something like LinkedIn connections when I was like doing that. And when I exited, I deleted everybody. Like blocked emails, like whatever, gone, delete it's over like we uh, even were, I made a whole blog post actually like where I was like I saw so I um I was in Tyler's apartment building and there was like two tech people who were like I guess they lived there or they were dating people who were there I don't know what it was I saw them and I like stopped in my tracks for a second because like it made me so uncomfortable like I literally it was like first it was like this this uh, sense of fear it wasn't fear it was like shock I was like shocked that like I saw them and I was like, oh, this is weird, dude. I don't like it, you know? And then I was like, Tyler, we have to go. <laughs> so, then, so then we like literally drove somewhere else to get food or some shit. But like, it was it was weird. I didn't like it. I like, I, I didn't even want to like be in the same building that they were in. This had nothing to do, like it was unplanned. I didn't know they lived there, but it made me uncomfortable. It made me uncomfortable, and I don't think that I'm the only one who feels that way. Um, and I guess like, that's another reason why I feel like I continue to try to like show videos of myself outside, right? Because this is like a public space. Anyone can just be at a park. Anyone can be just at a library. Anyone can be at a garden. These are public spaces. Um, public spaces are available for everyone. Um, this is my, and it's a very strange way, but it's like my way of showcasing to the people who I do want to be in community with how to live in society without being in community with people who you don't want to be in community with. It, it is a very like uh, weird go around way of existing, but also I don't see another solution. 
like I saw that uh, so I, I don't listen to Chris Crystals and um, Kid Fury that much anymore but they're new so the read the newest episode and maybe I will listen to it and make a response or whatever but the newest episode is called like um, what is it called I don't know it's called like white something and I gotta say the only time that Kid Fury starts making videos about white people is when some crazy shit has happened. Like, there's like a murder, there's like a something that isn't right. Otherwise, they will stay in like Beyonce land. Okay. <laughs> and then, so I don't know what happened because, yeah, like I stay in my own personal bubble, but hmm, I have questions and I would like to know. And the other thing, too, and I feel like, um, Oh God, like this is so strange, but and maybe other people don't understand this as a thing. When you're younger, especially like when you're younger and you're black in like a predominantly like white society, you feel like you need other white people to be around you to be like acceptable, to be like safe. Like for some reason, like they feel like they need to understand your story and they need to be like a part of it. There's not really some reason why that's the case, right? Cause it's like, when you really think about it, like when I really think about it, like I don't know all the neighbors who live in my apartment. I, I don't know all their stories. I don't know their jobs or names. We just live there, okay? Like there's not, like I don't, I don't really feel like I need to be a part of their narrative. They just live there. Like they are alive. I am alive. The year is 2022. That's the end of the story. Um, <laughs> uh, so, so then the the part of that is like tokenism, right? So then it becomes like you start to see like, oh, there's like a new like a new brown person in the community. Like, oh, who are they friends with? Oh, who did they date? Oh, where did they go? What did they do? And then it's like if you're just the person who's like, well, actually, I just I'm just here. I'm I'm just here. See how there's like no one else in the video. It's just me. Just like I'm in the video. <laughs> this is my video. This is my breakfast. It just doesn't have anything to do with anyone else. Also, it's not problematic because it doesn't involve. Like it's not supposed to involve other people. Like it's only like I. I this is my tripod my camera, my story, <laughs> my experiences. That's it, like that's, that is the end of the story. <laughs> and it's not bad that there's like not others who are a part of it. Is that weird to say? Like, I don't think it's weird to say. Like you, the other people don't have to be included. No, like it can just be like you. It can, it, it can, it is just me. And that's what it is, right? Like. That shouldn't be strange. Normalize that. I guess to you, like when I think about maybe like a year, two, two years ago, um, when I started turning on the camera, it was, it was really strange because like, it wasn't that like, my, my personality hasn't changed. My opinions on stuff haven't really changed, but like, it was so uncomfortable, I think, for some other people to kind of like realize that like, this is how I felt, but like, that, that, that she can't really feel like that. She can't really say that. She, she can't really do that. It's like, no, I definitely said it. I definitely believe it. I definitely feel this way. It is definitely probably an unpopular opinion for you, right? Has nothing to do with me though. Like, and that's another part where I feel like I might be mean or wrong. At least when you come out and then you say your unpopular opinion, other people, and you, let me clarify you say it aloud like you stand in your like unpopularness other people can be like I don't agree and they can start to have conversations about it but when they don't even know that the perspective exists that is different from their own 
then they are under this false belief like oh everybody feels this way this is what is normal this is what is acceptable for everyone else and then you might be sitting here like but Spaces where the four Harriets, the Kimberleys, the Khadijas, the Kelly Stamps, the I don't know, so many people just come on and they just start to talk about their own shit. Because, uh, like, we aren't all living the same experience, we just aren't, <laughs> and that, that has to be normalized. It, it, just, it has to be. It has to be. <laughs> like, like, you have to get comfortable uh, with adults, black adults, black female adults, who do not share your opinions. Who, like, don't feel the way that, like, you feel. Who have... <clears throat> I think, okay, this is a good example of this. I feel like I was listening to Destiny, a clip, a Destiny clip. Maybe it was someone else. I can't remember. I can't really remember. But the, the point was, like, let's say that, like, you live in a community of blue people and all your blue people eat tomatoes and they say, we hate lettuce. And then there's another person who is yellow and they live in a community of yellow people and they only eat spinach and they don't like tomatoes. Both of those things are, they exist at the same time. And because none of the blue people know any of the yellow people, and they don't even share foods, and they banned the foods that the other people eat, you, you realize how like, it is very easy for people to like, not ever understand that there's opposition out there. <laughs> that there's like, like there is another side. This is another reason why, I, I feel like I keep saying this, but everyone thinks it's a joke. Um, race is a thing. Racism is also a thing. We have literally divided the world into territories based on race. And the black people do have a place to go and it's called Africa. I don't know if that's unpopular to say like the the new part here this is new this is kind of abnormal Th this is the test like i'm not trying to be funny here but like the integration part is this is the trial period whatever if you look around and you think that the society is going well maybe it's working for you if you look around and you think it's not going well just revert back to the normal. Maybe that's unpopular to say, but that's... Right? Like, that's kind of the truth. <laughs> like, it's unpopular. It is not nice. Um, maybe it's just because I, I, I heard someone and i don't i don't remember how this came up but someone was having some conversation about history and then they brought up the berlin conference okay let's actually just stop this for a 